part five of Japan, here we go. So if you didn't catch the last video, that building right there is where we stayed. And I didn't know, but that's a love hotel. If you don't know what a love hotel is, um, use your imagination, uh, but it was very, very interesting. So if, if you haven't seen that video, go back, watch the last one. And um, yeah, we got ourselves into a little bit of mischief. Um, accidentally, of course, it wasn't on purpose, um, but it's all part of the experience, all part of the journey. It was a bloody funny thing to happen to me, but um, yeah, part five. I've just started it straight away. I ended the last video yesterday, so we'll, um, we'll just get straight into it. I'm not too sure where we're going now. I've just um, upped and left that joint because um, yeah, look, it was a bit weird, all right? There was a lot of there was a lot of stuff in the room. <laughs> it, was, um, it was a bit off-putting, but yeah, hey, it is what it is. So let's get into it. I'm not too sure where we're going to end up in this video, but hey, we'll just go over the flow and um, I'll see you when I'm looking at you. We are back in the city, baby. As much as I don't like it, it's not that bad. It's it's not that bad. It's um it's pretty good because it is actually really really clean, like I've said, and we're actually staying down there which is pretty cool. Staying in a little spot there for the night. We're slowly making our way back to Tokyo, uh, meeting someone there, and then we're heading to Mount Fuji, uh, which will be in this video. And then I've got something planned as well, which is gonna be pretty bloody cool. But the street life here, uh, the nightlife here is pretty insane. The streets are actually pretty cool, like with all the signage and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, just thought I'd give you a little update. We're back in, back in the city and um, only here for a couple of nights. Literally, I think we're leaving on the uh, 4th. It's the 1st tonight, so a few more nights and uh, we're gonna be punching at the Mount Fuji. And then um, and then I've got a big surprise. It's gonna be epic. It's the, I'll give, you a little, I'll give you a little clue. It's the longest in the world. So whatever is in Japan that's the longest in the world is what I'm gonna be going to and doing. So stay tuned for that. I'm not too sure if it's gonna be in this video or not, like I said, but um, yeah, how good. I'll show you my accommodation anyway, just while I've got you, since you love listening to me talk absolute shit. Oh, <clears throat> I went and got a massage too, which is pretty good. That's pretty cool, isn't it, behind me? Went and got an hour massage, which was really good. And um, now I'm just strolling. It's check-in time, it's three o'clock. I normally get there early, drop my bags off, go for a bit of a walk, go for a bit of a wander, see what's around, and um, see all the cool, all the cool things, mate. It is actually pretty cool. It's different, but like I said, a day or two of me in the city, and that's me done. You know, there's only so much you can see and do um, without being surrounded by heaps of people. But this is my accommodation here. It's called EG, EG, E E G E E, whatever that means. Uh, but I'm gonna check in. I'll show you my room once I get in there. I've got Spider Man here with me. But uh, yeah, check out this accommodation. How bloody cool is that? So I'll show you my room. It's just down here. There's heaps of them, man. Heaps of them. I keep going down there. But look, this is mine up here. Gotta be quiet because there's heaps of people in here. Already got my bag in there, mate. Not bad at all. A little cubby house for the night. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. So we've made it back into Tokyo, into the main city, and I've come across these little cart things that they take you on a ride for. Hello, hello. I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna jump on one and give it a go, eh? Might as well. Okay, from Australia. Australia. Yeah. Nice. I will uh, go to New Zealand. New Zealand, yes, yeah, yeah. go up road. Yeah, nice. Next year. Olympic monument, uh, top of fire, 
you know Olympic uh, torch? Olympic torch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry, my name is Rick. What's your name? Chris. Chris. Okay. Chris. How good was that? <laughs> I felt like an absolute boss just sitting in the back there getting dragged around. I'm in the most touristy spot ever. Check this out. There's that many people here. Apparently this is like a big tourist destination. So this thing behind me here that everyone's getting a photo in front of is actually 400 years old. They built it 400 years ago. There's heaps of shops and all that sort of stuff behind it. Um, but yeah, check it out. I think old mate was saying it was like a gate or something. I don't know, that's what he calls it. But yeah, everyone's here getting photos. Me taking a bloody video. Talk about getting out of your comfort zone, mate. I'm in front of that many people right now. But hey, I don't care. And plus, they probably don't even understand me anyway. But this is the big thing. Oh, and then it leads to like, um, I don't know, heaps of little shops and markets and all that sort of stuff as well. If you look behind it here. So I guess we'll do the tourist thing and um, go and have a little look, see what there is. Probably won't buy much. <laughs> Probably won't buy anything to be honest with you, but just gotta have a look, you know. Yeah, good. this one I'm actually staying at a five-star um, resort I guess you could call it hotel whatever it is uh, I've got a friend with me which I made on the island um, we're gonna spend the next 12 days together a little bit camera shy at the start but that's all right um, so yeah I'll give you a little look around show you this hotel it's pretty flash man I've gone all out and um, yeah it's bloody good we're only only here for the night and then we are heading to Mount Fuji like I said <laughs> bit camera shy but um, yeah, I'll show you out here where the pool is, where the, where all the activities are. It's actually right next to um, Disney World, or Disneyland, or whatever it is, as well. But it's pretty cool. Got the uh, got the train as well, the Mickey Mouse train, as you can see here, um, out the window. <laughs> Went past Disney World or Disneyland, whatever it's called. But um, yeah, I'm just out by the pool at the moment. As you can see behind me, the building is absolutely massive, and um, what a way to start this little trip with my new mate. So. Yeah, check out these next clips. I'll show you around the hotel and um, I'll meet you back here whenever I get up to some.
Yo, what's happening? Check out that. You know what that is? That's Mount Fuji, baby. An active volcano here in Japan. And you know what? We're gonna go climb it. That's right. We're gonna go climb this thing on Sunday. I'll give you a bit of a look. I'll zoom in a little bit. Boom. That is huge, man. Massive. If you know me, you know that I like climbing mountains. Um, I've never actually climbed a volcano before. Have you climbed a volcano before? No, I never. Never. This is never. Ashley. She's gonna, she's gonna come climb the um, volcano with me. Where are you from? I'm from the Netherlands. From the Netherlands. Yes. Lives in Spain. And now um, we're traveling together for a little bit. Woohoo! 12 days here in Japan. And um, we've decided to go climb a volcano. So over the next couple of days, <clears throat> over the next couple of days, we're gonna go climb the volcano. And um, it's gonna be a heap of fun. I think it's 3.7 Ks high. I think I said that. But um, today we're just gonna go have a little look around, go explore and uh, see what there is to see. So let's go. So I've made it to this big, beautiful lake. Having a look at the paddle boards, but check this out, man. Look at all the fish down here. Unbelievable. They are absolutely massive. Just dirty carp, but they are bloody huge. Look at that orange one there. Unreal. I think we're going to go on the paddleboard anyway, but what a beautiful day here. It's like 30 degrees again. Absolutely gorgeous. Loving it, eh? Absolutely loving it. You see that? That is Mount Fuji behind me. That's the best shot we've gotten since we've been in Japan and it is bloody awesome. Tomorrow is the big day. Ashley's a little bit um, nervous. Tell him your thoughts. I'm not sure if I can do it, but I will. <laughs> not sure if you can do it. Yeah. You gotta give it a go though. Mm. It's, um, it's pretty intimidating. Like, there's mountains behind us here and um, they look big, but they're closer. This thing is absolutely massive, man. It's a monster. It's a monster. There is actually snow up there. Um, I was just gonna wear like shirt and shorts and not worry about a jumper, but this one's saying it's gonna be absolutely freezing. It's gonna be like, um, what do you call it? My phone's going off. What is it? Five degrees up there? Yeah, around five degrees. Around five degrees. So I might be bringing, um, bringing my cat man do up there with me, but uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, what is happening? We're getting ready, we are preparing for the day. 
We've just gone to 7-Eleven across the road. We've gotten heaps of drinks, heaps of food. Uh, what do you got? You got sandwiches? Food. Food, literally just sandwiches because there's not much we can really take. We're gonna go into Lawson's as well. We're actually at the famous Lawson's that everyone gets the photo in front of Mount Fuji. They've actually put that uh, fence there to stop people because if you come over here, obviously you can't see it now because of the fence, um, but if you come over here and you stand here, you see how Mount Fuji's like right above Lawson's? It's like an iconic um, photo that everybody gets and they stand there, but it's too dangerous with all the cars and all that sort of stuff. So they've put that fence there, but yeah, we're just preparing for the day. Oh yeah, it says do not run into the road. Yeah, but um, yeah, we're just getting some more food. We're not too sure really what we're doing, but <laughs> we're preparing, we're getting ready, getting excited and yeah, can't bloody wait. Got the goods. We've got the goods. So we got some breakfast. Beef. Beef and rice, I think. <laughs> and some chicken. Literally just like little bits of chicken. Give you a little rundown of what we're taking up there. So we've got about 17 liters of water. We've got about 17 sandwiches. <laughs> Literally so many sandwiches but there's not really anything else we can take. So, sandwiches, sandwiches, some salad thing, some more sandwiches, more sandwiches. And um, there's a couple of little like protein bars in there as well. So, that's basically it. Do you think we're gonna be okay? Yes, we will be fine. We'll be fine. We got this. We got this. So we're gonna eat our beef. It is only, um, it's only six o'clock in the morning by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's only six o'clock in the morning. So we're gonna eat our beef and rice and our chicken and um, prepare the bags to climb Mount Fuji. So we just spent the last hour on a bus to get up here and um, what do you reckon? Let's go. Let's go. I feel like I've cheated at the butt because the tip is right up there. You can't really see it. It's still like a big climb, but um, yeah, I'm going to end the video here. <laughs> I know you want me to climb it, but you're going to have to wait till next week and um, we're going to get stuck into it. But we made it to whatever this place is. Looks pretty cool. But anyway, the views are awesome. Like I said, I'm going to end the video here. Check this out first. Unbelievable. So I think right now we're about 2,000 meters up in the air and we've still got another 1.7 k's to go to climb. Um, but that's it for this video. Check out the Instagram, you know what to do and uh, I'll catch you later. Part, <coughs> fuck. Check out these accommodations. Check out this, fuck's sake.